How's it going, folks? Mark, Lottie, and David, and we're back for another reaction, and uh, I'm excited about this Me one. Too. So, Lottie and I did a, uh, a Pride reaction to uh, Dio's Rainbow in the Dark. I've never heard that song before. And you enjoyed it? I did enjoy it! Awesome. So, I thought we would do Strange Girl by Hailstorm. Now, we all three reacted to Hailstorm with the Song of Women. Yes. And y'all both seem to enjoy that it one. It was the I first heard, time we both I heard, heard it. I've never heard it, but I've heard her before. <laughs> Well, I thought y'all would be interested in this one because uh, it's going to be Austin Pride, and this was a song that Lizzie Hale wrote specifically for a young gay girl. So what I thought oh, we would do is oh. listen to very quickly to Lizzie actually explaining the background of this song. And folks, I'll throw that up here. I'm going to fast forward. We'll, we'll, we'll just skip ahead, but I want y'all to hear that first, and then we'll listen to the song. Does that sound okay? Perfect. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So folks, we're going to listen to Lizzie Hale explaining the background of Strange Girl. You can watch her video right there where she explains it, and then we'll be right back with the reaction. Uh -huh. All right. So we listened to the background of it. Yeah. This was a direct reaction to, or a direct response to a young girl who had talked to her about coming out, and she had had a very bad, horrible time. Yeah. And so this was Lizzie's reaction to that. And here we go, Strange Girl, this is off the new album, Back From The Dead. Do I make you nervous? Do I make you scared? Do I make you wanna just stop and stare? We bizarre, unusual, sick and sick, atypical A perfect picture of your fucking worst nightmare Do I make you What are we thinking? Oh my uh, god. It's so relatable. <laughs> just, I mean, yes. Yeah, I think for me, just hearing that, I wish there had been a song like this when I was growing up. Yes. Because you. Angry and empowering. Yes. <laughs> it's like she said in the explanation, it's unapologetically me. Like who you are, be proud of that. And you know what's even, and I'm sure Lottie can speak more to this. That was back when I grew up, 80s, even if you grew up 70s. Fast forward to 2022, and sadly, we are not in much of a different place lately when it comes to issues around gay, lesbian, transgendered, or anybody who is different. Yeah. It's kind of a reverse. We're going backwards. Yeah. Well, yes. I think I thought we'd be further ahead. Right than we are yeah but we th there are things that that are people better. growing up now get that we never had exactly and I, and i'm equally parts jealous and happy for them but what uh what i like about this song is is the lyrics i like the music too but i i, I don't think i've ever been i have been angry mm -hmm. but angry music doesn't make me feel better ah it's but not the, cathartic for it's me. It's not cathartic for me. Yeah, but but the lyrics are because how, everything she says is true. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the way that's the way people are treated. But what I what I feel so bad for this poor little girl, and she's not strange. That's the thing. It, it, it's 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 like in the other pride video we were talking about. People aren't afraid of you, or, or they're afraid of what you awaken in, in them. Right. Yeah. Because. If you're free, that means I could be free too. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be free because I got things going on. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right? Things I don't want people to know yes, about. Yes. And you endanger that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Be 
Listen to that Lizzie yell in the back. I don't know if y'all heard it. <laughs> yeah, I heard her screaming. She's got a... to get to a yell but i feel like that that verse is well you know i'm gonna say this because it's so powerful mm -hmm. i think I, I don't know i don't know what your family experience is like i know my parents my father once said to me when i i i had quit a job because i did not like it and i said i want a job that i can be happy at and my father told me he says i've been happy before and i have to tell you it's overrated just do what you're supposed to. And I was like, oh my God. So that's their life. Mm -hmm. That's their life. They don't think of things like this. Yeah. And 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 I think that's what people think. Older people, at least, they mm -hmm. thought you had to do what you did so that everyone else thought you were okay. Because I remember my mother telling me, period, sometimes you should just give up what you want to make the rest of us happy. Right. I was yeah. like, well... That's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh my God! So, well, but that's, that's and, and that verse really does speak to that yes. too. So she sings, uh, "Do you fear me to make me feel empty, so that I'm just like you, so that I'm empty like you yes. are? I'll never be like you." Right? Yeah, yeah, yes. I do but, think there is a certain fear with, that comes up with people, not just around like being gay or lesbian, but if you take control of your life and do what makes you happy. Other people who aren't happy and they're just going through the motions every day and doing what they feel like they're stuck doing, it makes them upset and it's a reflect because they're seeing you do something they don't feel they can do. Yeah. And so sometimes that makes people uncomfortable or a lot of times it makes people uncomfortable and that's where all of the trying to hold you down comes in. Like you can't do that. Like who do you think you are to be happy like the re like the rest of us have to deal with doing Absolutely. what we don't want to do so why should and i always feel like that like what you said is true like there's always something it's strange when you say to people i'm gonna do this in my life because this is what makes me happy maybe it won't make me the most money or maybe it, whether it's a job or something and people do not know how to grasp that yeah. concept it's like wait a minute you're not doing what you were brought up like be six, be number one, be like, you want to do you something be happy? makes you happy. You wanna, like that's just that's not in thing? our conscience. It's yeah, so it's strange not. to me though. Right. That adulthood somehow means not being happy. Like yes. you said, yes. your dad, that being mature somehow means being miserable. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would it? Well, and, and, and I have to say, my parents, your parents, they, they did not have good times. They did not have easy times. Life may not have been happy for them. But even with that, you I don't see how you could not wish happiness on your children. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Why wouldn't you want them to be... If you didn't get it, why wouldn't you fight that much harder for someone else? For, so that they don't have to suffer. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
I gotta hear her Her voice is amazing. Her voice is just ridiculous. So powerful. And, and, and if, you, if you look at it right, really, none of us feel the same way about anything. Right. So everyone is a strange girl if you would just let them be. Let them be strange. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you both of you enjoyed this one. It was so good. I'm glad to see I you love again. It. It's, nice to it's so good. <laughs> and it's so oh, oh, yes, I, I know. You. you see me all the time, though. I'm like old hat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I really enjoyed this one, and I thought it was important to, to, to kind of talk about, too, especially because I know that they're, you know, I, I deal with a lot of students, and, and sometimes it feels like, like, like trans students and lesbian students sometimes maybe, I don't know, they don't. I don't know this, if this is the right thing to say, but I don't feel like that they are celebrated as much as they could be sometimes during Pride stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's true. Does that I make agree. sense? I don't mean that to be derogatory. No, it's not I derogatory. I, I it's not derogatory. It's, we still live in a, in, 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 no matter how much you fight it, we still live in a, a white patriarchy. So that that's always the top tier of everything. Yes. So you have to really fight to bring these people up the stairs with us. So the minority of a minority of a minority mm -hmm. a lot yes. of times is oftentimes it's, Well, yeah. I'm gonna say this is how this is how I knew for me being gay, I, I was a Latino and growing up in Houston that was bad because we had people who would call us names, but among the Latinos I was worse. Right. Because I was the gay Latino. So it always goes downhill. It's the same in San Antonio, Brian from San Antonio that the culture does not is not open to that to being gay or lesbian. So you or, become a minority of yeah, a minority, or you're just <laughs> quiet in your family. Like everybody knows it, but nobody talks about it. Oh, oh I hate that. And that's almost worse than just. It's it's like it's it's yeah. being invisible. You, it's being, being invisible, invisible. Yeah. with the people who supposedly love you. Oh. Well, yeah. I hope this was fun this for y'all. I'm glad yeah. that y'all watched this one. I love this band. Um, the funny thing about this one is that they put this album out, Back from the Dead, during pandemic, and they recorded it during the pandemic, and Lizzie has said that she wasn't sure that she wanted to continue as an artist because of politics and all that stuff, and it was during the pandemic when she said she felt like she had this just sense of rage about what was happening. And um, I don't blame her. This album is probably one of the most aggressive albums they've ever put out. Not necessarily because of the music, but because of lyrics like this. It, it feels like Lizzie taking a stand and saying, I don't want to be part of your thing anymore. Um, the only happy songs, we listened to the singular happy song. We did Steeple. Remember we did that yes. with Awesome Music TV? And that is a beautiful, inclusive song. It's gorgeously choreographed. There There's a, a lot of really a, great dancing and stuff. And there was a ball person in it. There was a ball person oh. in it. <laughs> yeah. And that is really the only happy song on that album. Every other song is like this. Like, F you, I'm taking a stand, done with you. I like it. I need to look this album up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, fellas. I hope you Thank enjoyed you. this, folks. Let us know in the comments what you think, and take care of yourselves, folks. And we'll see you soon. Adios. Bye.